Before we go to the issue of the suicide bombers and the freedom fighters who are called fanatics and extremists, let's first add up this, uh, what has happened in the last 200 years. Did anybody keep count with me? Excuse me. How many? 487 million. That's half a billion people. I didn't say in jail. I didn't say oppressed. I said totally destabilized, eliminated, slaughtered, liquefied, or otherwise eradicated over a period of 200 years. Now that crime will be paid for because Allah is just. And that crime is being paid for. That crime is being paid for. In the Western world, which we are living, which has the highest standard of living, which is the most advanced, which has the highest level of education, which has the highest buildings, the most institutions, the most enjoyment, the most developed technology, the most preferred way of life, the most beautiful houses, the most diversified marketplaces, the Western world, the pearl of the earth where everybody is being called to. The Western world. Let me give you some statistics to show you how they are paying for it. The Western world that we're living in, every single hour, every single hour, 106 children are aborted. That means they are murdered. 106 children are aborted every single hour, which means every two hours, every three hours, some 350 children are killed in the womb in the Western world. Every hour, 106. Every 24 hours, nearly 3,000. Every week, 21,000. Every month, 85,000. Every year, 1.3 million children are killed in the womb. Little people, little people who are 14 weeks, 18 weeks, 30 weeks, they are even killing them when they are at 40 weeks. Can you imagine that? In the Western world, that's how they're paying for it. Secondly, every seven seconds in the Western world, a woman is raped. So while we sit here, every seven seconds, that means 10 every hour, That means 240, 300 women are raped every day in the Western world. In the Western world, at any given time, has 2.8 million prostitutes walking their streets. Whether in Holland, or in New York, or in Washington, D.C., or in France, or all the other red light districts. 2.8 million women who prefer to be prostitutes even though they had the choice, if they like, to be mothers or wives. But they choose to be prostitutes because there are more than 10 million men who prefer them also to be prostitutes because that's their clients. They're also paying for it because every single day in the Western world, 350 young children are snatched off of the streets 
and put into some kind of place where they'll be used for child fornic uh, prostitution. Every day, 350 children disappear and used for child pedophiles, child prostitution. This is the Western world, the most developed world. Did you know that every single day, 357 people shoot themselves in the head, take some pills, slit their wrists, Every single day, they have no reason to live in the developed Western world. I can give you more and more and more statistics, but I think you understand that Allah is just. And the justice means they have to pay. And so Allah is making them pay. But... He has given them an alternative. He has put Muslims in their midst. He has given them Islam as a choice. And if the Western world will repent and look at Islam, they can change themselves, purify themselves, gain the repentance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, become Muslims, and Islam will solve the problems which they have.